What is up guys? Welcome back to another unboxing video. So today I'm super excited to show you this brand new reel that just came out from Shimano. I've been waiting for a little bit and it's finally come in stock and, and Digitaka has sent the channel one. So quick shout out to Digitaka.com. Thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. Guys, if you're looking to purchase a JDM fishing roll from Shimano, Daiwa, Abu Garcia, I encourage you to buy from Digitaka.com because right now there has never been a better time. Reason why I say that because the Japanese yen and the US dollar exchange rate has never been better. And right now if you purchase some of these great reels from Japan from Digitaka.com, you're gonna get a best deal. It's gonna be the lowest price ever. And generally they're already the super lowest price in the whole wide world. So I encourage you guys, there's a direct link in the description box below. Check out Digitaka.com. So without further ado, let's go to the bird's eye view and show you this badass reel. All right, here we go guys. Super excited about this brand new reel. I've been waiting for this reel for a couple months now. It's finally in stock. Digitaka hooked up the channel. I finally got the new Shimano Stella in my hands. I'm so, so excited. But anyways guys, a lot of you guys have asked me, send me direct messages via Instagram and Facebook asking me how legit is Digitaka? And I'm just gonna tell you straight up right now, Digitaka is freaking legit. They are 100% our real business. They ship directly from Japan to your doorstep within three to five business days. If you mention in the notes when you purchase your reel from Digitaka that you follow me or you you watch my videos, most likely they will expedite your shipping at no cost because they know that uh, you guys are coming for my videos. So anyways, without further ado, let's go and open this up. Here we go, man. I am super, super excited about this because golly, man. <laughs> It is like Christmas, seriously, in June. And it is like almost summertime, so yeah. Man, I'm so happy, so happy. Here we go. Ooh, they package it up really nice. Digitaka, when they when they pack things up, man, it is legitimately secure. And what do we have here? We got some Digitaka media right here. Uh, thank you so much, Digitaka. Put that to the side. And here we go, man. You guys already see the brand new 2022 Shimano Stella. The most high-end spinning reel that Shimano offers in their company lineup. So here we go. We're going to take that off. I love these bubble wraps, man. Thank you, Digitaka, for bubble wrapping my Shimano. <laughs> and every other reel that I get from you guys. Woo! Woo! Look at that, man. Man, this box is shiny, you guys. You guys can see it. It's like a charcoal matte gray? Matte? Yeah, matte gray. Oh, man. It's so nice. You know, honestly, I, I expect it because... This is their high-end reel and I expect like the best packaging. And this is a 2500 SHG straight from Japan. And it is made in Japan. Let's see if we can get that focus right there. Made in Japan, uh, just as I expected with the Stella line. So anyways, here we go. Come on, <laughs> tight tolerances, I'll tell you what. Oh man. All right, here we go, we got that off. Put that to the side there. Man, I'm super excited. Here we go. Oh, wow. Comes with a nice pouch. Here's the handle right here. It's like an Alcantara suede-like material. Whew. Smells like New Jordans. Here we go. Oh my God, here we go. Let's go, boy. Dang, this thing is nice. Wow, that's a pretty color. I remember the old Stella was more like a dark chrome, but this is like a like a chrome charcoal matte gray. I hope that makes sense, but this freaking color is sweet. All right, let's put the handle on real fast here. All right, we got some extra drag washers there, which we don't need. All right, there we go. We got to tighten it up. Nice hand tighten right there. Oh man, she is a beauty. Wow, that is so freaking smooth. Dang, that is smooth, man. No no joke. I know I say that a lot about a lot of these reels, but this is like on a, in a class of its own smoothness. Man, that's nice. One thing I noticed right off the bat is the spool goes up and down very, very slowly. Much more, it's like a more complex movement if that makes any sense, very slow, very methodical. Um, I guess that's the way Shimano de designed the brand new Stella to be able to be, you know, line that line on perfectly to give you the maximum casting distance. But yeah, Ooh, that is nice, man. 
God, that's beautiful. All right, so let's go ahead and see exactly what else is in the box. So you have the reel, the handle, got a nice little pouch right there. Thank you, uh, Digitaka and Shimano. Plastic bag where the reel came in. Once again, some extra drag washers, I believe that is. And we got some manuals here in Japanese, which we don't read. Stella manual right here. Showing you the specs, I guess. Yeah, here we go, specs of it. Um, pretty cool. Some more manuals in Japanese. Okay, don't need that. And the Stella 2500S part configuration, which uh, we don't need either. Weird, it doesn't come with oil. That is actually the first time I've seen it not come with oil. Or does, man, do Shimano spinning reels come with oil? I thought they did, man. I can't, I can't recall. It's been a while since I got a Shimano spinning reel. But anyways, we're gonna put that to the side there. It doesn't matter, I have like tons of them anyways. We'll put that there. And let's just look at this for just a second. Let's just observe the coloring. I hope you guys can see it. You know, after after a few minutes of just looking at it, it's not like a dark charcoal gray. It's like a it's like a mix of a green gray metallic chrome. I hope that makes sense. Uh, it is. It's different. It's cool looking. I mean, it's a brand new color scheme that I've seen Shimano. Uh, ever do on their Stella. It's always been either blue or or silver, but not this color scheme here. So that's, it's pretty interesting. I like it. I mean, it's it's different. So let's go and talk about the specs real fast, but let me just take off the sticker so I can be the very first one to do that. <laughs> Put that to the side here. Yeah, you guys can see. I hope that color scheme comes out better on the camera itself because it's kind of hard to see on the body, but on the spool itself, you can see it's like a like a an olive green metallic color which I really really like and yeah that bell is it's very smooth very smooth has good tactile feeling the drag itself as you guys can hear it is very teeny very Stella like it's different than their other spinning reels that they have in stock or in their lineup rather and uh, this is one thing I really appreciate about the Stella it's the drag is very distinctive. I can tell when someone's using a Stella and they have a big fish on. It's more tingier. Uh, spool dimension, it is 47 millimeters with 17 millimeter stroke. The gear ratio is 5.8. I do wish I did get the 6.3, which would be the XG model, but the HG would be perfectly fine using lures and live bait if I need to. But lures, six, you know, 5.8 is, is a little bit slow, but it's not slow, slow like you know, 4.4, which they have in their other models in the Stella lineup. Maximum drag force, you're looking at 4.0 kilograms, which translates to close to nine pounds, eight point something pounds uh, by conversion. You can just Google that to get the exact amount, but close to nine pounds of drag force. And the weight itself is 205 grams. And 205 grams translates to seven, just a hair above seven ounces. Now it's not the lightest reel in the world, but this is not the smallest uh, model that they have in their lineup. They go up to a, or they go to a thousand size, which is very small. And you're looking at 165 grams, which is probably right a hair above five ounces. But you know, seven ounces is not bad for a small reel. Do I wish it was lighter? Yeah, I do wish it was lighter. But then again, it's not going to have all the technology and all the special features that makes a Stella a Stella. Braided line, you can put 0.6 gauge, 200 meters. 0.8 gauge is 150 meters and one gauge 120 meters. I'll probably be using, be using about 1.2 to 1.5 gauge, which will give me about 100 meters, which is probably around 105 to 107 yards of braided line, which is plenty enough for inshore kayak fishing. The handle length is 55 millimeters. You got a paddle style um, grip right here, which is well known for Stella. This seems like it's the same rubbery piece that came on the old Stella model and this is a very high-end very nice has great tactile feel to it good grip especially when your hands get wet it's still very tacky very nice it lasts it's, it's designed to last for a long long time you have 12 plus 1 ball bearings which makes this one of the highest ball bearing content spinning reels that Shimano has and rightfully so once again this is their cream of the crop the highest end Shimano reel that they offer. Now that we talked about the specs, let's talk about some of the features that this brand new 2022 Shimano Stella has. Uh, of course, it has a Hagani body style, which makes it very tough, like pretty much almost like one piece, 
gives it stability, long lasting, long casting. Hagani is like the foundation of the reel itself. Also has Hagani gear. So this is a brand new gearing system that Shimano has incorporated into the Stella model. Micro module gear number two, which is advanced tooth surface design uh, manufactured by Shimano. It's supposed to give it really smooth action, long casting, very, very strong, very durable. Shimano also has X-Chip, which you expect in their high-end model. They also have this new thing called Infinity Loop and Shimano really focused, their engineers focused on the line management of the Stella. They noticed on the older Stella, which is I think the 2017 or 2018 model, the line management was adequate, but it wasn't perfect. So what they did is really focus on line management for the brand new 2022 model. And that's where you have Infinity Loop. So basically in a nutshell, I don't want to get too much into it, is basically the Japanese engineers have found out that when the line doesn't uh, line up right or properly lay down on the spool, you lose casting distance, you lose functionality of the reel itself, um, you have a lot of twists and turns, you have issues, and that's a no-go for serious anglers that are looking to just focus on fishing. And speaking of line management, they also have this brand new technology. If you guys look closely right there, you see that little fin that's located right on the bail? This is called the anti-twist fin. And what Shimano engineers have noticed is when the, when the line itself is just hanging down, and you're starting about to reel, it all gets all crooked and line management is all off. So Shimano has developed this little fin right there. You guys can see that right there. That actually helps with better line management. Once again, it's going to give you longer casts. It's going to be a more enjoyable fishing, less twist. Um, I mean, just a lot of benefits of proper line management. And with all Shimano's, you can expect it to be highly, highly water resistant. Shimano says, it's highly water resistant, but to a point it is almost waterproof. Uh, rating of waterproof IPX8, which is really high up on the scale there. And it prevents water through a Lambert system from getting into the main components of this reel itself. So yeah, it is super water resistant. Something that is very important to me, especially on a kayak on windy days and you have a uh, splash coming over the kayak and hitting your reel. You want any of that brackish water getting to your reels itself and just damaging it. And of course, you can expect all the other technology that Shimano is well known for. Once again, the Hagani gear, the Hagani body, which I explained earlier, X ship once again, ARC spool, X protect, uh, silent drive, it has a one piece bell, it's saltwater proof, long stroke spool. I mean, it goes on and on. Uh, the bearings itself is coated with, um, you know, saltwater resistant material. So, I mean, it's. This thing is loaded. So what kind of braided line am I going to use? I'm going to be using Veravas, which you guys know I'm a big Veravas fan. I'm going to be most likely using the 1.2 gauge Veravas 8. This is 150 meters. Probably not going to use all 150 meters, probably around 100 meters itself. It is a blue color, so this blue is going to look really nice with this chrome green. And I'm super excited to use it on. And I'll probably pair this up with an old 18 buoyancy, probably. A light action or a medium light, I haven't decided yet, uh, but I plan to use like, you know, heavier bait uh, applications, a quarter ounce minimum um, paddle tail with jig head or probably, you know, let's say a, I don't know, a hard bake, a crank bait that's maybe three eighths of an ounce, maybe half an ounce, up to an ounce, you know, I probably have to use a medium light buoyancy. But yeah, I'm kind of digressing, but it's gonna be pretty versatile um, set up. So let me know in the comments, are you thinking about getting this reel? Uh, I mean, I personally, I'm looking forward to using this to catch redfish flounder speckled trout. Uh, I know it's not gonna be for everyone because of the high price, but this is the best of the best, the cream of the crop that Shimano has to offer, all their technology in one little package. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'd love to hear your comments, your opinions. Also check out digitaka.com. Once again, thank you so much for sending this reel to the channel for supporting it through all these years. I highly recommend you guys to purchase your JDM reel, Shimano, Daiwa, Avocarcia, or any other Japanese fishing tackle, anything that relates to fishing in Japan, digitaka.com is a place to go. There's a direct link in the description box below, but thank you so much. I love every single one of you guys, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.